Hello again, another Cinema 4D tutorial. Right, I got a question on one of my Maya tutorials. Um, he was trying to create a brick wall, but unfortunately his bricks were far too big. It was unrealistic. Now, I don't have Maya for Mac yet because it's a lot of money and I haven't got the money for it. When I do have the money, I will get it, but I don't. And frankly, my Windows XP has a gig of RAM, and it would probably it might crash it. I'll, I'll install it and find out. But ne never mind. Um, basically, how do we scale down the bricks and make them more realistic? Well, I'm going to make a wall out of a cube. What I'm going to do? Press the C key, make it editable. I'm just going to do this very quickly because the whole point of this tutorial is to make a realistic brick wall okay Ooh, that is big okay so we've got this wall like that then we're gonna make a new texture go file new material double click on it under color click on these dot 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 to load a texture then find yourself a picture of bricks and then what we can do is drag and drop this onto our square, onto our cube, onto object mode, and there we go. And as you can see, I've got the same problem. That does not look like a brick wall to me. So what can we do about this? Well, what we do is we go into our objects panel and we right, delete that. Sorry, ignore that. And we grab this. The reason I had a other thing there was because I applied it to a face. In face mode, you can apply single materials to faces. I'm going to grab this object, and we're going to set it to you, where it says UVW mapping. Click on that, and choose cubic. And as you can see, automatically we've got something there. And what cubic means is that it's going to just apply it to each face. It's not going to wrap it round. Because you can t you can see the difference if I go back to UVW mapping, that it's blurring the edges totally. Um, cubic is the way forward. Now, as you can see, you've got these like um, double lines. Now that's because it's not going to tile very well. Um, you can fix that in Photoshop or whatever whatever image editing program you have. I'm not going to go into that because that's not the point of this thing. Okay, so it's looking pretty good like that, but to change it even more, what you can do is you've got the length X and length Y. So you can squash it in like that, and then squash it in like that, and then it looks like it's an even bigger brick wall. Now I know you were using Maya, but as I don't have it, I don't I, I'm not very good with Maya if I'm honest, um, so I can't really help you very much. Um just another point, double click on this material, we can add a bump map, tick the box, load the texture. And just choose the same texture. It works better if you have a black and white version, uh, but it won't make too much difference. I'm going to increase the strength and then add a light, and this is going to start behaving how bricks behave. Because of the bump map, it should behave quite well. Ugh, bloody mighty mouse. It's the middle mouse button on a mighty mouse is a bitch. As you can see we got some more light there, you got some shadow in these gaps. Just behaving how bricks normally behave, which is lovely to see stuff when it uh, you tell you I tell you what, three D I'm gonna use a different mouse. I think I got one from school. There you go, behaving just how bricks behave, looking beautiful, you don't really have to do much to that. And that's how you change the size of your objects and stuff, so I hope you well, the, change the size of your textures. It's just a short tutorial, I hope you liked it. Obviously, endless possibilities, you could have um, lots and lots of walls all lined up. You know. And then... Um, you could make it like a prison. Ch 
check that. Ready? I'm gonna fill the screen with bricks. Look at that, we're trapped in a brick wall. Anyway, that's the end of the tutorial, and that's the whole point of it. I hope, if you are good with Maya, then I hope that can translate. And if it doesn't translate very well, Cinema 4D is great for motion graphics and <coughs> photo stuff. Um, it obviously isn't the best for special effects. It can be used for special effects, it is used for special effects, but I personally just use it for motion graphics and photo editing and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed. Remember, I'm Daniel Allen. Subscribe, rate, and comment because I want a partnership. That is my goal. I would love to have a YouTube partnership, and I can't do that without you guys. I want you to enjoy it, and I'm enjoying doing these, so I want you to enjoy it too. And any suggestions, any ideas, anything you want to know, send me a message, and I will get back to you, and I'll see you guys soon.